asked uh, to determine two limits, I think it is. Let me look. Yeah. So we have limit as x approaches infinity from the square root of x squared plus 4x plus 1 minus x. And this is an indeterminate case, infinity minus infinity, which is not a friendly situation, really, because I need to rationalize. So this is the square root plus x and the square root plus x of x squared plus 4x plus 1 and x squared plus 4x plus 1. And uh, then we have limit as x approaches infinity. The denominator is the square root of x squared plus 4x plus 1 and plus x. And the numerator is x squared plus 4x plus 1 minus x squared. Um, then I realize that the numerator is a linear function and I will factor out x. And I get 4 plus 1 over x. And in the denominator I will factor out under the square root. I will factor out x squared. And I get 1 plus 4 over x plus 1 over x squared. Uh, so we discussed uh, sometime last week, I think it was, the square root of x squared is the absolute value of x, which can be positive or negative x. Still positive, but it can be one or the other. Since x approaches infinity, we are in this situation. So I will replace the square root of x squared by x. If x were to approach negative infinity, I would have replaced it by negative x. So limit as x approaches infinity from x, 4 plus 1 over x, and x, and then I can factor it from both. So this is the square root of 1 plus 4 over x plus 1 over x squared and plus 1. Of course, uh, now I managed to get rid of what I wanted to get rid of anyway from the get-go. The numerator approaches 4. The denominator, this approach is 0, this approach is 0, this is 1 plus 1, which is 2, so the answer is 2. I could write now that y equals 2 horizontal asymptote at infinity only, guaranteed. Could you go back up a little? Yes. Any questions? Any questions on this one? So, I'll, I have a question. Sure. It, and this doesn't have to do with the problem, but I've just been struggling with this these past couple classes. Is there a way that you can lock your screen onto there? Because every time somebody else talks, it goes to them. Yeah, you can pin the screen. Yeah. Yeah, you can pin it. To get three dots by um, her name and press pin video, and it will just show her video only, and it won't switch to other people. Thank you. Okay, so now part B. We have the limit, so let me look at participants, and, okay. So we have limit as x approaches infinity again, from 1 minus e to the x over 1 plus 2 e to the x. Uh, the numerator, um, goes to infinity or negative infinity and the denominator also goes to infinity. This is an indeterminate case. I'm going to try to factor out e to the x from both. We did this problem in class. So I was going to say that there is no problem. If you redo the problems we did in class, there is no problem that you cannot address. There is none. So um, 1 over e to the x minus 1. 1 over e to the x plus 2. 
we'll simplify this approach is zero, this approach is zero, so it's negative one half. So y equals negative one half horizontal asymptote at infinity. Once you redo uh, all these uh, problems, you should have no difficulties. You will not need anything to look at, nothing. You have this weekend to review and redo all problems we did in class, and you should be rock solid. Nothing will be more difficult than what we did in class. Six. Yes, let's do rule number six. Using the mid value theorem to show whether we did a problem with number six today, but let's do another. Equals zero. So uh, this is our function. And I have to write that f is continuous as a polynomial function. Everywhere, continuous everywhere. As a polynomial function. I put the function in the graph and calculate and I punch in numbers. So in y equals, I clear and I put 2x cubed. That's not what I wanted. I want 2x cubed minus 8x and minus 7. And second and table, I'll start at 0, 1, 2, 3, and I found an interval between uh, f of 2 is negative, f of 3 is positive, and then I would write by intermediate value theorem, um, it implies that there exists a c in the open interval 2 comma 3 such that f of c is 0. We don't know what c is. Okay, anything else? Is there anything? Say it again. Uh, in, in that uh, calculation, when you did uh, got f3 is positive and f2 is negative, when I typed it into my calculator, I got them both negative. Uh-oh. I probably Oops. just have a setting wrong. In my no, calculator. no, maybe maybe my, my glasses, no, or maybe myself. Maybe I entered the function incorrectly. Yeah, for me is oh, here's what I did. Here's what I did. It's, it's squared here. And I did not. I entered this instead of that. That's why. You are correct. Don't change anything. I just didn't write this squared. Minus 7. Okay? Or just because I already wrote it, I'm going to do this. So I changed the function by not copying power 2. So don't change what you have because what you have is correct. Good. Anything else? I want you to uh, do very well on this test. Just redoing or doing these problems from the old test is not going to be enough. test is closed notes and closed books, so please redo the problems we did in class. It's not a long test. You should be able to finish in an hour and 15 minutes, but you have two hours. Anything else? Could we do 5E? Yes. Where are you? Five. That's four, five, E. 
Yes. So limit, the same thing, you just have to rationalize. That's the whole thing. Very similar to that one with infinity minus infinity. X plus six minus X divided by X squared. No, it's X cubed minus three X squared. So when I plug in three, I get zero and I get zero. So obviously I'm hoping for an X minus three to go away. That's my hope to remove the problem. So then I will rationalize the numerator. So I have limit as X approaches three from X plus six minus X squared. And the denominator I'm gonna factor out X squared, X minus three, and of course the square of X plus six plus X. So I'm multiplying and dividing by the square of x plus 6 plus x. So in the next step, I will rearrange and factor out negative 1. So limit as x approaches 3, negative outside, x squared minus x minus 6. You should always refuse to work with a negative leading coefficient. At any point in time, you should refuse to do that for a lack of better terms. I will factor this. Of course, it has to have an x minus 3, and it does. x minus 3 times x plus 2. So this is limit as x approaches 3, x minus 3 and x plus 2. And as expected, this term, this not term, this factor goes away and x squared. Gone. And now the limit exists. So 3 plus 2 is 5 with minus in front. Uh, this is 9, so it's 3 plus 3 is 6 with 9 in front. So this is negative 5 over 54. So always remember when you plug in and you get 0, you know which factor must go away. You said when that equals zero for zero. You mean here? Yeah. When, you, when you plug in three and you get zero over zero, you know x minus three has to go away. It's a factor that is present in both top and bottom, for sure. Okay. You can solve it with substitution. You cannot solve using substitution. I'm not sure. Yeah, at the, the last step, when you just you plugged in x equals three. That's After how we. That's how we determine the limit. Yes. 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 Good. Are we finished with this, or do we have anything else? Is there anything else you'd like to review? What if there was a limit where x was approaching infinity with polynomials, or a polynomial in the numerator and denominator? Excellent. That help back, like with the common factor, it's pretty complicated. Just give me an example. Very good. Any example. Very good point. Uh, x to the fourth minus 5x squared plus x. O over x cubed minus x plus 8. Like this? Yep. Okay, perfect. So the degree of the top is 4. I factor out the degree. The degree of the denominator is 3, so I factor out the degree. This is 1 minus 5 over x squared plus 1 over x cubed. This is 1 minus 1 over x squared plus 8 over x cubed. These are the 0. All this approach is 1. Simplify and get an x. So x times 1 when x approaches infinity is infinity. Is 
that better? Yes. It's the same procedure we had um, when you disregard, I don't, I don't say that this is the best method. You can use the method from the book. That's fine too. Absolutely correct. Uh, but I like to uh, disregard uh, what the other degree is and just factor the degree no matter what. And then at the end, I'll see what simplifies. If it doesn't simplify, it doesn't simplify. So I remove 3 from here, 3 from here. There is still x left, 1 in the denominator. All this approaches 1, and 1 times infinity is infinity. Very good question. Anything else? Other, th other things? Anything? Can we do 8? Eight? 8, let's look at 8. Find the equation of the tangent line to the curve at y. Okay, so we have limit. We have to find f prime of x, so this is limit. As h approaches 0 from the square root of x plus h minus 2 minus the square root of x minus 2 divided by h. We rationalize top and bottom. So then we get limit as h approaches 0. h in the denominator and the square root of x plus h minus 2 mi plus the square root of x minus 2. And then we have x plus h minus 2 and minus x and plus 2. Because we are rationalizing by the positive, by the conjugate, this squared minus this squared, but I have to distribute, after I square, I get x minus 2, but I have to distribute negative 1, and that's how I get this. And this is a difference quotient, and I know that all terms without h must go away, so that this h gets simplified with that h. And when I plug in 0, um, the numerator goes to 1, and the denominator goes to 2, the square root of x minus 2. The point is given to, un, to us, let's say point P 11, 3. So then the slope, when uh, x is 11, 11 minus 2 is 9. The square root of 9 is 3 times 2 is 6. So we have 1 over 6. So then y minus y1 equals the slope times x minus x1, where we have 11 and 3 and 1 over 6. And then um, I distribute a 1 over 6 to this, so 1 over 6x minus 11 over 6 with plus 3. So 6 times 3 is 18, 18 minus 11 is 7. So y equals 1 6x plus 7 over 6. Very good. Anything else? Other questions? Anything else you'd like to ask? Anything else? So I have a question. If we don't use the squeeze theorem or the IVT, you know, like, you know, we go through all the steps to get our answer. Do we have to put, like, we did such and such to get this? Or 